What's up guys? As you can see, I'm in my truck. I just arrived at our destination where we're gonna be spending the majority of the day today. I had to wake up a little bit early today, so I'm sorry if I'm looking kind of tired. I had to drive about an hour, but it's gonna be totally worth it because we are here at the greatest theme park in the world. They have a total of one roller coasters and it is a clone of a family ride that I've ridden before. And so obviously that's gonna make it super worth my effort to come visit here. And I would highly recommend that any of you come to this park, even though I haven't even been in it yet. But I already know it's gonna be great. Um, in case you guys couldn't tell by how I was talking about the park, it's Sesame Place San Diego. I know you probably all could have figured that out by the title of the video. It's obviously the best park in the world, and I'm sure Super Grovers is gonna be my new number one. And it is a new credit for me, so yeah, I'm excited to go in there and get my plus one. Totally gonna be worth the hour of driving each way to and from my house and also gonna be worth losing sleep because I had to wake up early because I have to work today. So anyway, super excited for the entire day and probably totally not like 20 or 30 minutes I'm gonna spend in this park. Let's get straight into the park. in the park they got some nice music playing the scenery is pretty nice the theming is actually pretty great I like the atmosphere and we're heading to get the only coaster that they have in the park Super Grover's boxcar derby as I've said I've ridden a clone of this ride before and so I already know this ride's gonna be goaded probably gonna be my new number one so yeah I'm super excited let's get on it Super hyped. I definitely think this is gonna be my new number one. Let's go up the massive lift hill. Almost time for the stomach plunging drop. Here we go. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, I'm graying out right now. So many positive G's. We're going so fast. Woo, another one. Oh, this is not a repetitive land at all. This is goaded. Wow, and it was a long ride too. Oh my gosh, that felt like that lasted forever. Uh, guys, I think I found my new number one. That was, that was amazing. All right, y'all, so hopefully by now you can figure out that this video is kind of a bit of a joke. Um, I am obviously really here at Sesame Place and Super Grover is a new credit for me and that is why I came. And the one thing that is true about this video is that I did drive an hour just to come here. Bruh. I guess that's just what stupid enthusiasts like me will do, drive an hour each way just to get a coaster credit of a clone ride that I've already ridden before. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. It's what makes me happy, so I do it, don't judge. But anyway, in all seriousness, this is a cool park for the family. The music's great, they got some great family rides. And the water park looks really good. Like, that is a legit water slide right there. That's like the tornado that they have at all the Six Flags and Cedar Fair parks. Like, the water slides look really good. Their water park is closed for the most part right now. It looks like the Lazy River's closed. They have a few like splash areas and small pools open. But either way, my point is, if you want to bring the kids here, if you want to come with the family, it definitely will be a good time. They definitely have some nice flat rides. Super Grovers is a great ride for the whole family. It's actually pretty comfortable in large trains for even a six foot tall guy like me, who's on the bigger side. And so, yeah, I mean, obviously it's not really the greatest park in the world. I just wanted to try to come up with something silly for you guys, but I still have enjoyed my 30 minutes I've spent here. And it seems like there might be some good food and snacks here, which I might actually check out before I leave. But yeah, definitely check this place out if you have kids or if you're a crazy enthusiast like me and want to get that plus one coaster credit.
All right, guys, so I'm gonna be heading out of the park in just a second here, but I did wanna check out what kind of food they have available here before I left. So as far as regular food goes, they have your typical theme park food. They got burgers, fries, chicken tenders, pizza, and some other sides like onion rings and salads. And they also have some desserts. So I'm actually trying one of the brownies right now. I'm gonna take a bite. Mm. Mm. That's good. As you can see, this brownie isn't one thick consistency. There's kind of fudge on the bottom and then brownie on top. I really like that. It's very delicious, not what I expected. And I think it was chilled in a fridge. I actually wanted to get a cookie, but they were all out, so I got the brownie instead. But yeah, with my Platinum Pass, it was like $5 and change, so not a bad deal, though. Some of the food here is pretty expensive. I saw some of the meals were like 16 or 17 bucks, so. I would always recommend bringing your own food to theme parks or leaving outside of the park to get food. But there are still decent options here, especially food that kids will like, simple foods. So anyway, overall I really like this brownie and this park is quite nice. So I will see you guys once we exit to finish up and wrap up this video. All right guys, heading out of the park. Hopefully you enjoyed my jokes at the start and the footage of the rides and water slides I was able to gather for y'all. Everything was open today, except for the Elmo spinning ride. Unfortunately, it was broken down, but they're working on it. So I think they probably will open it up. And I'm here on a weekday during spring break. They're open on weekends, uh, I believe throughout the year. So yeah, if you guys have a family, or if you want to get a coaster credit, come check this place out. I feel like you could definitely spend a whole day here if you hit up the water park. A lot of the slides were actually open. I didn't think any were. Um, not all of them are, but some are now. But still, you could spend a whole day if you were to hit the water park if you came in the summer. Uh, for me, not my thing. I got the credit. I probably won't ever come back unless they add some more family coasters in the future, and then I would definitely come back for those. But either way, I'm glad I came. I enjoyed my time. The music was good. The food seemed good. That brownie was really good. And yeah, overall, it's a cute little park. So thank you guys for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, I want to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. That's my goal. And I would super appreciate it if you guys could help me hit that. And drop a like on the video to help more people get to see it. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.